So, this is a test. I'm out, ooh, I'm out here on my boosted board. And my interest is making one of those tiny planet videos. You know, where it's like a round thing. And then like, you stick up from it. So, but uh, this is a Samsung 360 camera, which has not been supported by Samsung since last year, apparently. Uh, I had it in the box for quite some time, and then I decided that uh, I was going to bust it out, use it for a music video I was doing, and I went to get onto the app, and the app is uh, not a thing anymore, it turns out. So, yeah. So, you can still, it still works for Windows until 2024. I don't think Windows programs tend to age out, because as far as I know, it doesn't have automatic updating turned on. But I know I still have the computer program, so we're going to start with that. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through the process. So, you shoot the footage on your 360, Samsung 360 camera. It looks like this. then you put this into the Samsung Gear Action Director software, which is made by Cyberlink. And if you don't know where to get this, if you just Google Samsung Gear 360 Studio, the first link, scroll down, and you can get it for PC or Mac. You put the footage in here. Once it's in here, it'll show us a 360 video, right? And there it is, all 360E. So you want to export this. So put it on timeline, and there it is, and then you say produce, and then it's going to ask you where you want it to go, how you want it to look, blah, blah, blah. So you'd go ahead and do that, and after you export it, you're going to lose the 360 data. So it's going to look like this. So you need to inject the metadata. So you need this program called Spatial media metadata injector. You open the folder, which is this one, you say open, may 360 spherical, then you hit inject metadata. That'll give you one that looks like this, where it's a 360 video again. You can see that in my little intro clip that it's stitched together also right over my face. So then from there, once you've injected the metadata and by the way all these programs I'm going to show you are free because I don't want to have to pay to do this I used to be able to do it on my phone and I could actually do it in real time which I miss anyway the spatial media metadata injector just google it you'll find it it's pretty self-explanatory so now you want to go and get something called insta360 studio 2021 if you google it you'll find that it's from the insta360 company and uh, Here's the editing software right here. You just click download. It's from Windows, Macs, Windows, Macs, Windows, Mac, and then I'm not sure what LUT is. I don't know if that's Linux or what that is. So once you get that, you can open, you know, the install file, install the program, go in here. And so now I'm going to show you, right? This, I think, is the coolest thing. And also, I know the the wise among us would say why can't you just do it all in one program if you put your original with the metadata in here right this is the original file you cannot get it to be a 360 view it knows it's a 360 if you go into free capture it's a 360 video but you have these black spots on here right so it's not gonna work like if I try to do tiny planet here which is an option they give you Look at what it looks like. It's because of those black bars. So you have to use the Samsung Gear 360. I mean, I'm sure there's a way you could do it. We could do it all in one program, but like I said, I don't want to have to pay to do it. So I want to just be able to do it like I was able to do it when I purchased the thing in the first place. So anyway, Insta360 Studio. You take the footage you've already exported and then injected the metadata into, put it over here. So now we're here, right? Free capture, it's a 360 video. So you can scroll around. There's my face. There, there I am, having 
a real good time. Let's just skip to a random time. So if you hit this button, which is add a keyframe, or mark as a keyframe, it'll give you all these options. So this is just a regular 360 video, I believe. This is Tiny Planet. This is where you're inside of an orb. And again, you still have a black spot where your camera isn't actually covering. There might be a way to adjust that. I am not 100% sure at this time, but you know, for my purposes, this was fine. And then this is just a regular flat video. I think you just pick the angle you want it to be at. But so let's say we want to do Tiny Planet. Okay, so there's Tiny Planet. We'll start from there and we'll play the video. All right, so it's going to be going around a corner. You can, once you're at your keyframe part, you can adjust, you know, where you want things to be, how far you want to tilt it, what do you want to be at the top too is important, how far away you want it to be. See, like I could do it like right here. And just go back to, we'll just go back to OG Tiny Planet mode, right? And pull in a little bit. And it's more, I want the focus to be my face, really. But, again, I really don't like that whole black spot right there. But now that it's this way, like I said, you know, look at me down there. <laughs> but you still have these two black spots, but if you do Tiny Planet, you'll only see one. Um, I'm going to try to come up with a way to get rid of that. Because, like I said, I really don't know how. But, I mean, look at how cool this is. So, this is what I was trying to do for the music video, and then I'll show you the finished, obviously, in this video.